no denying. No denying the light armor, however, Chera decided to deny PD on his life. Great swings, however, Rail was very close to hit and another time. Dangerous play. Athena has no hook sneaks and takes care of the heavy armor again. Swings himself over the portal. It looked like some t rex stuff. W great, great, great damage from the LG. However, no grappling hook to capitalize on this. And he's gonna wait a long, long time for this heavy to respawn. He realizes that just now. <laughs> barely grabs the rail gun. Sees heavy armor being respawned. Will he swing for the fences or just look for a rail? No, in not even that, but Chera deals with him. And that rail pretty much guaranteed both of the items. Now P Demon has a lot of things to do in order to restack back to his normal stack. He's doing better than I anticipated. Missed rails from Chera. However, yeah, I, I didn't see that ghost dog to be honest. This rocket, however, was very, very good. And now, Heavy has gone to Athena. LG on LG. Both rails miss. Chera would be dead. If B Demon had hit the rail. Hits that one though. Chera is on about 5 health. Slight overkill, but that's alright. Demon with the first track of Blood Covenant. Four seconds still heavy. Gonna be grabbed by the demon easily. I like his Aitina, like he has the movement pretty much dead to right. Misses the rail though. Mega has respawned. Shera is gonna grab it after the rail, so it's pretty good. However, another rail hits and this rail would be the finish. However, again. They're hot on my cover me. That hurt. Chera with heavy machine gun as well. Yes. Very good weapon swap. And now these two rails and the third almost hit. Wow, that was a one. That was a sitter, man. You're and I think Chera would be dead. 65, 27. No, he would be on two health. However, yeah, what is this life on two health? I'm gonna have to ask now because Chera is getting railed and again and again. And this time he should be dead. Wow. This guy is quick. Very low amounts of ammunition left, 4 rails, 30 LG. <coughs> Both players exchange rails, however again, Chera is in a much worse spot because of the starting stack. P Demons rockets to, to bridge reminds me of the time when I watched Defrag and I've seen the triple rocket jumps. Stop it. Wow, that almost hit, and I have no clue how. That this is like unbelievably precise rockets. So close, but this time though, Sarah hits a direct rocket. Got himself the heavy for his troubles. Rocket jumps. Amazing play from PD man, and he should be able to capitalize. Defensive ghost walk saves Chara's life, however, again, now is the time to restack. Five minutes left. And another one. Misses the most crucial one, though. Misses the kill shot. Um, I don't know if he realized that Chera was under him. One 
Was it only a sound cue or? Stop I, mean, it. I highly doubt anybody cheats in this game, but if that was a sound cue, then that would be perfect. This is the rail this time. Four seconds so heavy. Both players exchange rails, Chara grabs the heavy, so he's in a pretty decent spot. He demon denies the light. Again, it's 2-0. The score is pretty low, however action has been fierce. P demon with a good idea to rope out. Good defensive rocket, 25 damage. Part as well as getting the player outside of his comfort zone. No rail, guys. No rails, man. You have to be stuck on that. Demon with crazy good flicks. This time he misses, though. We have ourselves slightly insta game. Oh, yes, man. Pop and lock. One, two punch, rocket, two rail, perfectly adjusted aim. This is that one. And another. However, still, this should be enough for him to sack. Mm, for him to secure the heavy armor. And another great, great rail. Four seconds till Mega. P Demon has full control over both of the items, over pretty much anything that's happening on the map right now. Chera is in a lot of trouble and he is down 3 frags. We will see if he's going to be able to make anything happen. A rail is missed and he needs to hit pretty much everything right now. Especially considering the fact that Athena is the mobile one. Almost there. Both players. Hit pretty similarly. Oh, this time it's P Demon who had to escape with a tail between his legs. And Chara hits another one. However, great, great rocket. This time Chara though hits the crucial, crucial rail. Grabs himself the light armor. He's gonna grab the heavy. Has time to restock on rails. Doesn't even go for the upper glasses, goes straight to Mega. Bad weapon choices, unfortunately, for the player. Choke. Mega is down to him, however, again, aggressive ghost walk this time. Fully executed, in my opinion. Gets rail for his troubles. LG on LG, and he gets smelted by P Demon. One minute left. Three frags difference and if if the things that we have seen are anything to go by Chara doesn't have too much of a chance Mega is gonna go to Nyx however wow that grapple huge railed at this point, again, it's 30 seconds into frags. I mean, it's not impossible, especially considering the fact that these are light champions, so they spawn without armor. However, Chera doesn't have railgun yet, apart from now. However, it's 20 seconds. Like right now, it's pretty much impossible. P Demon is gonna get the first map of this best of three series. And we will see, it's probably going to be 4 to 2. And it's P Demon who picks up the first map of this best of three, 4 to 2 against Chera. Railgun being the massive difference between two of these players. And uh, Pingo, OP Pingo, thank you very much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. I, I really, really enjoy playing against you and your friends and TTMs. I really wish they would actually make for before ranked that would be like super cool i would play it all the time to be honest meanwhile 2v2s i tried playing some ranked 2v2s two days ago i had five games and i met the same players all the time 
Yeah, no problem, man. Again, like I said, I know who you are from playing. <sighs> cool dude. Good player. All good things, man. If you feel like you can stay for the for the last game, maybe last, maybe not. Uh, because mostly, as far as streaming goes, I try to cast as much as possible and. Uh, Sometimes I'm gonna play a bit. You know the drill. This is like the main focus of the stream. <sighs> well, so far, we have Freddy's in chat. Ranger versus Aizen. Awoken. We'll see if P Demon is gonna close the game in two maps or is Chera going to make a comeback into the series. Well, th the problem is, Pingo, we are not gonna get this uh, for QC. Diabotical is going to be the best shout, especially if they're gonna have the server browser. Then Painful to be a dream everything is fine, but real for now, we have QC, we have QPL, Challenger stage. And that's pretty much what we have to go with. Szykuj się do walki. But let's say that the duels are the cream of the crop of Quake at the purest esports right now. And we shall see how both of these players are gonna play. Chera responds near the railgun, grabs himself the heavy, doesn't decide to go for uh, to go for the risky play at Mega. P Demon gives him the robot to destroy. Very interesting position from both players. Well now, everything changes. P Demon with two amazing rails. Makes sure I go. Oof, that was a very quick shot. And another one. They are just playing a bit of cheeky insta give. P Demon probably didn't. Probably didn't expect him to go through that. And again, both of these players are balancing. On the line between life and death. Ah, and another one. Ranger has started almost screaming. It's not BJ, but you know when Ranger is slow enough to be. Made quick work of, however, this 100 damage rocket makes his life slightly easier for now. However, P Demon grabs himself the heavy and the control over the items in this rotation still nil nil these players I wouldn't even call this play defensive they are playing extremely well they value life and they play where are you guys amazing the frails especially P demon again he gets advantage and he almost gets the frag through the portal Shara is gonna grab himself that knight armor makes his life slightly more safe. Hits one, bolt, 35 damage. Has it been done? He's almost 100 with 100. However, P Demon is still the one with control over both of the items. He's gonna grab the heavy. Not before getting railed by Terra and another one for his troubles. The stacks are pretty much dead even right now. LG on LG fight. Who is going to win this one? This one is gonna result in the death of somebody or it will not. Now Terra has the ad advantageous position. But he cannot deal with the turret. P Demon unfortunately for him misses both of the rails which, are which would be crucial. And now, Chera cuts him off and he should be taking care of the business. First frag for Chera, however, right from the spawn, this rocket! Oh, wow. 
That was close as nails. <laughs> PD with the clutch rocket, and we get 1 1. That's some slight amount of damage. Coming at you! Four players incredibly low. Oh, slightly mistimed that one. Hits the bonkers rail though. Unbelievable thick shot. Grabs himself the heavy. Shara has about 25 health now, 50 50. So one rail is not going to make the case, however, he pushes forward and grabs the mega with the die roll. However, P Demon grabs the rail and another one. Gets the frag, gets the lead. Stacks. Both players are pretty much the starting stack. One second. Oh wow, this this tribal. And if that rail would hit, holy crap, that would be it. This rail hits, this one should. E Demon is railable still. And Shara doesn't miss again. Now Shara hits 53% of the rails. Deals with the turret with a single tribal shot. Here's the light pickup. I don't know if that's actually a good play to be honest, especially considering the fact that Mega is in 15 seconds. Either heavily mistimed by Chera or just playing too aggressive. Like way too aggressive. It's like Strength level is too aggressive. <laughs> this, however, oh wow, uh, both of these rails made tons of damage onto Chera. However, the rockets were good enough to secure the tracks. It's the rail. And orbs, this time perfectly played with orb. Gets slight damage, finishes off with the rocket. P Demon needs to be very careful around Chara because he doesn't have the railgun yet and his stack is lower and lower and lower. Now, he managed to get back, grab himself a couple of bubbles and the light armor. However, if Chara continues hitting those rails, the game is gonna be very difficult for P Demon. He still managed. To get up, despite the sword like not me, being perfect, you can face me. and it's 5 to 3 to Chera. 3, and three, three minutes and 50 seconds left. Ooh, ah, that's what I'm talking about. Pop and lock. And robots. Least trust for net though. <laughs> should be going down this time too. However, slide is running smooth. Adjustments onto the aim had to be made by Chera. Oh, that's that's a telefract. 100 damage orb. P Demon needs to be very careful. Hits the rail, but Chera hits one as well. And another one, however, this time P Demon. It didn't look like a wrench for him. Killing Chera. However, he made that happen. LG, straight in the face of Chera. Not enough. 32 points of health on the ranger side. Grabs the rockets. Rockets, eyes and twice for good measure. Is he gonna orb out? No, he will not. Should orb out. Orbs in and trades frags, which is the best case scenario for Ranger. He gets the favorable spawn. Doesn't pick up the rail. I don't know if he mistimed heavy or what, but um, yeah, he gets it in no time. Misses the rocket jump. Wally has been deployed. The second rocket is a whiff. The third rocket is a whiff. If it bleeds, I can kill it. Makes his shotgun on him. like he's. Somebody with a shotgun. That's famous. What are the famous shotgunners? Apart from Doomslayer. 
Maybe some actors, I don't know. I don't watch films. That rocket though. You've Beautiful. Stay down this time. Your friends are gonna have a hard time. P Demon right now has to take unfavorable fights. He's down eight frags. He's not going to make it, let's be honest. But we all know it's a best of three. You need to be in the right frame of mind. Even if you're going to lose, hitting 100 damage rockets is pretty cool, especially and also drive by rails. I would call them all right. So. We also saw Chera doing this when he was two frags ahead of Zenaku and he almost lost. This time lose, losing is not even a matter of discussion for Chera, especially if he continues hitting like that. 60% of rails. 17 out of 28. 18 out of 29. During this game, Chera was hitting shots. Some of them were easy, some of them were hard. But, but the important thing is, he continues to hit him. Not this time, however, he grabs the shotgun, 8 damage, 28. Chera is probably gonna secure the last rank of the game, unless Wally has something to do about it. Chasing, and no, it's gonna be 15-6. Chera grabs himself awoken and we are gonna go to the third map which I don't remember what it is but it's alright Pingo says I never play duel clan arena player or TDM playing alone is <laughs> on the computer <laughs> I've been only getting into duel um, like Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, played placements. Now I'm like 1800, but it's inflated. I'm probably around 1700 to be honest. Yeah, it is slow if you compare playing TDM, which is non stop action. You see players all the time. There's always somebody to frag, somebody. You can help usually. It's definitely much more fun, however, duels give you that something special from time to time. This thing of you versus the other player. The better player wins 99% of the time. Especially in Quake. Quake is great as far as RNG is concerned. The only thing random in this game where you spawn and it's not even always the first spawn is completely random the rest can be manipulated which is seen on maps such as dm6 and veil vale of nav to be honest as well which is a great segue because p demon is gonna play deathland against Chera's bj on veil vale of nav so no heavy champions this time on the map that's famously having the most light armors in the dual pool DK versus BJ and I gotta be honest I don't exactly know how this matchup works I would slightly favor BJ because of his ability to pop up the dual wield especially with shotgun and rocket launcher near the rockets especially considering the fact that this is a very close ranged map with a lot of very tight spots this won't make it bro 1,000 lifetimes have come to this. Rip them to shreds. Szykuj się do walki. Rozpoczęcie rundy za... HFs in the chat. Let's go, everyone. The third map in the best of three between P Demon and 
Coachera. He even started with a heavy pickup. Thank you for the hosting, though. I really, really appreciate it. Have a PDM and grabs himself. Hits the rail. Chera pops of the dual wield. Very good defensive flames, and Chera has about 25 HP left. Heavy. Goes out to PDM. Both players exchange missed rails. LG on LG, however, again. I could promise that Chera was the one on low health. P Demon though grabs himself. The Mega makes his life easier. Eight seconds till heavy. Both players have not died yet. Up. Oh. Portal play. P Demon misses the rail. Hits that one though. Hits it slightly too too late. Chera was able to pick it up. Very low, both players are raidable actually, so now it doesn't really matter the fact now players Stop are pretty it. evenly stacked. P Demon grabs the Mega. Both players are raidable, however P Demon doesn't have raids anymore. He should be going to pick them up. In my humble opinion. Mega uh, heavy goes to Chera. Seven seconds to Mega. We see some flames, yeah, we see some flames, and we see double LG. And double LG prevailed on this specific occasion, and now the demon is pretty much screwed. Chera lets him live for quite some time, and he actually dies to him, 3 HP left, but it doesn't really matter. Chera, this is... you dropped the ball, man. You had everything there. He only had a machine gun and the rail. And now hits one rail. Grabs the heavy. Denies it. HB he had to work with was too low. He demon. Doesn't make Chera suffer and die. However, railgun may say otherwise. He needed one more and he didn't get it. Rockets are available for the demon. Unbelievably smart play from PD man. Unbelievably smart. That was gorgeous. Double machine gun though. PD man doesn't know which weapon to use. And he's getting melted by the machine gun. 30 health left. Lucky for him. This game favors. That was 180 flick from the portal. It guarantees Chera advantage this specific time and excellent use of pummel. I have to be honest, this weapon was a perfect choice. It was no BM, this was actually the highest percentage play. Very good. Chera should be able to grab the heavy and he goes out unscathed. Rail misses, and now it's P Demon, who is in a lot of trouble. Hits the rail, which probably saves his life for now. One more! Not going to happen. And it's P Demon. He's going to die in a second. Or is he again? Wake up. You're dead. On, I don't know if it was a click. I don't know what happened. However, he only needed one more. And now, LG on LG drops off. Chera hits more. 7 3 almost gets the rail off the spawn. Light armor is being picked up. 4 minutes Time 20. Down. This game is total non stop action. Rocket. Chera rocket jumps onto P Demon. Hits two 100 damage rockets. Both players are incredibly low because P Demon hit the rail on the outside. Chera misses the, <laughs> misses the mega. And it's the perfect timing of both items. Right now, P Demon is in a lot of trouble. Chera is about to chase. P Demon hits the defensive rail. Misses the second one. Five minute warning. 
Power frags is the difference between two of these players. Light armor is denied by Shara and the gun is being picked up. Three till heavy. And Fidiman is in a bad spot. Hits one rail. But it's still, it's only gonna buy him some time. And I don't even know if it's actually worth it. He was on the low stack for about a minute. And now, hits one rail and he needs to hit another one. Clutch rails. He needed that a lot. Dub double pummel! <laughs> that would be very tilting. I'm gonna be honest, Pidiman was lucky this specific time. Oof! My life is fading. That was close. He really needs to pick up the mega. And he does. Hits the rail on his way down. Chera hits two. And he is gonna grab himself full control of the map again. Is he going to chase the demon? He is. Pops up the dual wield. Misses everything except of that rocket. Makes it 10 to 5, maybe it's going to be 11, however, starting machine gun is still a lot of damage. And it might actually be enough. What happened uh -huh. here? How did he kill himself? Did he have rockets? How did that happen? Either way, Shara is available right now. He demon really needs to hit everything if he w feels like winning this game. Going on to the finals of Quick Pro League Challengers. Quick 7. Shara slowly but surely restacks. Pops up the dual wield perfectly. Perfectly played. Bro, it's dual wield. Right. You, can, you can actually shoot it very fast. Both players are available, still available. P Demon misses the crucial one. Fair play, it was unbelievably difficult. But he needed that a lot. 11 to 4. I think we're gonna make it 12. Especially considering the fact that P Demon missed those rails. Perfect rocket jump. Get position onto the heavy. Great rocket after the portal, however, no rockets. That might be a slight issue. P Demon. Wow, that should have been 100 rocket. The slight, the slightest of side steps. Okay, and combos. Yeah, I think the game is over. One and a half minutes left, and ten frags. Is it's virtually impossible, especially considering the fact that Chera plays very, very well. This time, P Demon grabs the frag. 26 HP. Hitting some impressive rails. But he needed them earlier, though. Unfortunately, it's probably a case of too little, too late. He needed that one too. Yes, this one. And another one. Yes, that is impressive. But it's all for nothing. It's Chera who is going to go to this week's finals. Is over. Chara realized this. <sighs> and it's going to be Chara in the final of this week's Quick Pro League Chandler stage. Congratulations to this player, beating two very, very good in Senaku and P Demon.
P-Demon had nothing to be ashamed of. However, this time, Sarah proved to be too strong. 